we start the gauntlet today. The horrible, horrible gauntlet. But first, I should probably heal up. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, not good to be going into war with a broken leg. And I forgot to cut this part out. Oh God well. God damn it, you know how long you worked on this yesterday and you forgot to cut the very first fucking thing out? Oh, well, you know what? I don't care. You're just seeing the Pokemon Center. It's not like it's the end of the world. There, we're done. It's all done now. Oh well, I guess you should see me as I, uh, prepare for war! It's time for a Nugget Bridge, or Silence Bridge. For being silent, it knows how to stay here for a fucking long time. Yep. I'm just checking the area, see if there's anything interesting. No, there is not. So anyway... Let's go upstairs and see if there's anything interesting before we start. Oh, it's this bitch. What do you got to say for yourself? Oh, your ashes are stored in the tower, huh? Oh, TM. Give us a TM for Swift. Am I actually gonna bother using Swift? Let's find I wonder if her Pokemon had a Swift death. Let's see. Do I even bother using this at all? I was actually contemplating whether or not I should actually give this to anybody. Because it is a normal type move that, um, can't miss. Yeah, that, that's the only positive about but it. I, but I decided against that. Because I don't need it. Yeah, past the not missing thing, I mean, you can hit them when they're underground or in the sky, but still. Eh. But anyway, we're now on Silence Bridge, so I think it's appropriate to say, Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, come on, nobody's gonna get that reference, huh? Uh, I think a lot of people will get it. The Sound of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel. I already used them as a reference for the episode where we did Nugget Bridge. Anyway, we got a slow bro. Folks, I just want you to know, um, I actually cut this episode in half. This was gonna end up being an hour long. So I spared you. So you should thank me in the comments. Say, Mr. Iron Fury, I thank you for sparing us the fate of having to sit through an hour of nothing but Pokemon battles. You are a kind person and a scholar and a gentleman. And this is how your commenters will respond to you. Oh, wait a minute, I'm back, I'm a Tentacruel, goddammit! Oh, he's using dick, goddammit! Why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep suffering from this? Oh, I got a new trainer and everything! Oh, damn it, what? Oh, Tentacruel fainted, of course I fainted! And God, oh good, you level up too. What are you gonna learn, hydro pump or some shit? Oh uh, no, he beat the fisherman. What do you got to say for yourself, bastard? Man, that tentacle is just an angry person. Really should he get over his anger. Look at look at the brighter things in life. He needs some anger management. Fuck you! I heard that. <laughs> oh, another fisherman. You know, it's funny, the fisherman bodies remind me of Cartman from South Park. You know, I can see that. They're out, they're out world sprite. A fisherman wants to fight. Send out a cloister! Who looks kind of psychotic, actually. Yeah. But Bulbapedia's gonna kick his ass. With knowledge. And leaves. Oh, Gyarados! I'm actually not afraid of you. I'm just gonna raise me you. So, goodbye super effectiveness, the only good thing about the flying subtype. It did not help. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, in Gen 1, it's supposed to be not very effective, because like I said, secondary typing counts over, uh, you know, primary typing. But... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they don't negate each other. So thank God Razor Leaf having a high as The Fishing Fool versus the Pokemon Kid! Let's see how this match goes down here in Silent Bridge. What's he gonna send out? A Lapras, that's actually impressive. Oh shit. That's actually a good Pokemon. Too bad I have to kill it. 
Too bad for you, you have to die. But on the bright side, at least you could bury your guy not too far from here. You do gotta watch out for some haunters, though. They tend to get in the way. Especially the higher up you go. Every other step. Oh, another fisherman. I'd rather be working. Oh, that's a clever joke! That's, that's a clever joke. Too bad I still have to kill you. And he has a goal? What? Um... Oh, okay. A fisherman with a golem. That's a new one. I've seen some shit. But then I've seen some shit. Critical hit, super effective. Well, of course it's super effective. Oh, you got a Dratini! I fought how many of them now? 10,000 by now? Am I gonna slowly make this thing suffer? Nah, I'm just gonna kill it. I know you've caused me a lot of trouble early on in the game, Dratini, but... I'll be merciful and kill you quickly. Starmie! Hey, an actual good Pokémon. I can second that. Wait, Dave, no, not the star me, please! I have to. It has to be done. Why? Star me, no! I did it to spite you. You fucker. You had to be taught a lesson. No, Dragonair! I'd be a little more impressed, but... Nah, I'm just gonna kill you. You're only level 29, you're not really a threat to me. So you know what? Fuck Abra is gonna fuck you up. What's some psychic? Call the Pokemon Kaizo Blue Hotline. I don't give a fuck. Excuse me, this Dave kid is being very mean to my Pokemon. Too bad. You deserved it. Of course, this guy's gotta make it like a douchebag, windy road bullshit. Well, if he didn't want to work, he didn't oh, have to. Oh, of course. We knew this was coming. Dave, can you get out of the way? We're trying to do a let's play here. That's fucked up. <laughs> that was too easy. That's fucked up. <laughs> you know, if it were actually me, I would have taken up way more room. <laughs> You'd actually get the other space. Yes. <laughs> oh, gee, a Snorlax! There's only one of two in the game, I should probably try to catch it, you know, because it's kind of rare, and, uh, no, fuck you, I'm actually gonna kill the fucking thing. I don't give a fuck. Fuck off, Snorlax, you piece of shit. Snorlax, calm down. With a big yawn, I return to the mountains. To die. So we got this way now. Is there anything up, you know, toward the way there? Probably. I don't know. Apparently you don't give a shit. I, I guess not. <laughs> Electricity is my specialty! Watch, he's gonna throw it like a ground type. Well, I'm, I'm gonna kill you. That's that's your spe Your specialty is dying. Oh, he sent out a Jolteon! That's actually respectable. I still have to kill you, but it's respectable. See, it would have to be your Jolteon, though. Yeah. Paralyze it, may not attack. Fuck you. Well, fuck you! I like the buzz. Holy shit, he doesn't have any ground types. But I do! Go, Mr. Dig! Kill them! Kill them and, and make me happy! And this fight ended quickly. Yep. Make me happy! Defeated the rocker. Unplugged. Unplugged, oh. bro! <laughs> oh, of course, we need Surf to get the Super Rod. 
Good thing I don't fucking want it. Asshole. Oh, you got it. Fucking shit me. Oh, time to go back and get shit, slave. That piece of shit, stupid hacker. I'm like that tentacle now. I'm pissed off. But why the fuck would I go all the way back up to Lavender Town? If I cut... Well, let's go up here and see if there's anything up here now. Truth be told, uh, hey, there is something up there. Oh, wow. There actually is something up there. Look at that shit. TM16, what is it? Payday! If I had a Persian, that would have been good. I don't, but... No other way to get money in Gen 1, besides Elite 4. Anything else up there that's even, like, remotely interesting? And for some reason, I... Oh, I decided, fuck it. That's just the way back up. We're not going that way. Well, all right, so I probably should have cut this out, but... Fuck it, it's filler. It seems like you're having a seizure through most of it. Don't know where you're going. And I just realized that I have to go all the way back to Lavender Town. <laughs> fuck it. So I cut back. Thank God. Actually, it wasn't so bad. All I would have to do is use teleport, because the last Pokemon Center I was in was Lavender Town. Oh, yeah. True. Which is what I did. So I brought Shit Slave back out. I put Bulbapedia in the, in the Pokemon Center. So, yeah. never know what you could catch. I could limit it down, though, to the fact that it's probably a water type. And fuck you for having a Dragonair. Technically, you catch him in the water. I don't care. He's still a bastard. Oh, Gyarados! Like, we haven't seen this 10,000 times. I'm going to wreck you, though. Hard. Eh, better to kill the Gyarados than get an EXP than the Magic Carp and get nothing out of it. This is true. I'm still going to kill him, though. And without mercy. Yes. Yes, you did lose it. So what is this? Oh, iron. Hey, I found me. And... Uh, fuck you, hacker. Fuck you so hard right now, because when you see it... <laughs> fuck you, hacker, you piece of shit. Made you had to go back to get cut, and made you had to go back to reload the area. Ha. Huh? Fuck you, hacker. Well, you sent out an Inno Queen? You know what I sent out? I sent out fuck you. Fuck Damn. you. I guess death. You piece of shit. Oh, hey, an Inno King. That's actually kind of respectable. Better than Inno Queen. That sexist. I don't give a fuck. Middle Queen is shit tier compared to Nino King. I can defend that. The male Pokemon is better than the female Pokemon. <gasps> Stop it, Dave. It deserves the extra quarter of pay. So I cut back, because fuck making you guys watch that again. Was that an unintended pun? No. That was not supposed to be a pun. But it is now! So, you know what? We got nothing to do. Let's go in here and check and see if there's any interesting Pokemon. Not that I'm actually gonna catch any, but you know what? Fuck it. Or not. You know what? I had to contemplate whether I wanted to or not, but I decided I will. Let's see if there's anything the interesting. The hacker might have changed it. Over there, naturally, there's no new Pokemon, but maybe in the hack there is? 
And look at them. No. Fuck off, Alicatom. You are you're shit. You're just against the ladies all day today, aren't you, Dean? Lickitung has nothing to do with the ladies unless you have a sick, perverted mind. Oh, hey, are we about to fight some jazz hands? Oh, you found Carbos in a cave once. That's nice. You know what I found in a cave once? Your dead parents after I killed them. <gasps> Junior Trainer wants to fight. She sent out a sea king. Fuck Abra! Kill that this Sea is, King. This is where fuck yeah Sinky come from. When fuck Abra, fuck Sinky up. Fuck yeah. Fuck Yabra. Fuck yeah, bra! Being mean to kids, bra! Oh hey, Polyworld. I have to kill you. I'm sorry, Bryceolf. You had to die. No. You probably don't even know what that's from. Ah, uh, no, I don't. Kuma of the forums did a uh, a Nuzlocke randomizer run of uh, of Pokemon Blue, and he caught a, a Poliwhirl and named it Bryceolf, and it died <laughs> twice. <laughs> Oh hey, I killed a Seedra. Nobody really cares about Seedra though. Not till next gen. Yeah, and even then, they still don't care about Seedra and Horsey as much as they care about Kingdra. I cheated is gonna fuck your life up later on in the episode because I put Steve up front instead. My bird Pokemon wanted to escape, what? Uh, okay. He had to slap his bird and tell it to shut up. Wait, what the hell bird is that, anyway? You know, that's a good question. It's just a random bird. That, that brings up a lot of questions. Are there actual animals in Pokemon, or are they only Pokemon? And if there's only Pokemon, what Pokemon is that bird? The not explained type. No one knows it yet. Or could it be that it's not an actual bird at all? Could it just be a plastic-like figurine of a bird? This is the shit I think of when we have nothing to do. That's when we have fucking hour-long episodes, almost. But seriously, what the fuck bird is that? I and it kind of looks like a deformed Pidgey. Implying an actual Pidgey isn't deformed. <laughs> this is true. Fuck Pidgey. Oh, Wigglytuff, yay! I get to look at those creepy eyes again. Somebody wants a bug hard. Somebody's gonna die. Oh, you uh -oh. wanna use Psychic against me? <laughs> Too bad it's probably ain't gonna do shit, cause you suck. Holy oh. shit, critical hit and nothing. And now you die. Don't you yeah. love me? No, I don't. I hate you. I hate your guts. I wanna stomp your face in. Oh, hey, a Raichu. Raichu. My Steve is better. Fuck you. Ouch. Ooh. Add insult to injury. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck you. My Steve is better. Asshole. Oh, Vileplume. Vileplume, eh? They already give Vileplume, like, a big old Mexican mustache, because it looks like he's, like, tipping his sombrero. <laughs> or maybe Vileplume was, like, the first guy to come up with the tips of Fedora theme. Or meme. <laughs> Vileplume, the original Fedora wear. Oh, Flareon! Too bad you're fucking garbage. Oh god, this is an EV standoff. Not much of a standoff. Flareon sucks. It does. Flareon is shit. And it deserves to die. Oh, Polyrath, huh? Oh man, that thing looks like it's about to bitch slap you. No, it's about to die. That's what it's about to do. 
<laughs> and it's just sitting there looking like, look, man, I don't want no trouble, but I'm gonna give it trouble anyway. <laughs> Damn it, defeated a junior trainer. Damn it, fucked your life up. And the hacker had to put grass in here. Yep. Sure, I'll play with you. Yeah, but not in the way I want, you stupid bitch. Now she magically has blonde hair. A gold duck? You know what's funny? If go if its name is gold duck, how come it ain't gold? Like Psyduck is, yeah. Well, Psyduck is yellow. I'm talking about gold. gold. The whole translation issue, from what I've heard. In Japan, they're actually named correctly. Blue duck? Not blue duck, but it, it's something that at least implies something similar than the whole side duck, gold duck. Well, I still have to kill it, and Raichu is gonna die too. A very painful death. Raichu could not evolve. Oh, hey, Sand Slash. You know what? Sand Slash is gonna die. I'm still gonna do an earthquake because. Fuck you! Oh, you little. What did she say, brat? <laughs> I don't know. Some, something like that. Do you want to Pokemon with me? If by Pokemon you mean. you know. kill your team and then have my way with you when I'm done. That's inappropriate, Dave. There's children yep. watching this. And a body slam! Of course you got a hyper potion. Why not? No, that's a cool fable, Dave. And of course it's gonna use Psychic. Of course it's going to. Are we gonna nothing do nothing ever, again? Nothing could ever just go my way. Ever. Thank God Steve has the better special. Yep. Go, oh, Mr. Dig. Throw a rock at it. It's a big rock. Stop it, that's annoying me. Uh, I love the animation for Rock Slide. Just throwing giant rocks at shit. In Stadium, though, they make them look like piddly little rocks. Yeah. That's and why I strength. like the animation for Strength in Gen 2. It's just one big-ass rock. Yeah, like, just grab the giant rock and throw it at a Pokemon. Wow, your badges are too cool. You know what? I don't care for your jazz hands. Oh, hey, a victory bell. I could kill that thing. With an earthquake because you actually take damage from that in this gen. Because the game is broken as hell. Oh good, a Nine Tails. I don't have to change anything. Because I'm going to kill you with an Earthquake too. Yay laziness. It's super effective, even. Laziness is super effective. You gotta love it when they turn away from you. Yeah, I was actually was wondering if this was the spot where the item was, because I know there's like a hidden item. This must be it over here. Yeah, here it there is. There we go. Calcium. It's good for your bones. Gut milk. Yeah, I'll give it to him. Why not? Decide to go for a bike ride. Because I can. At what least change some things up a bit. Oh, well, that, that's, that's a thing, I guess. What do you got for me, Jazz Hands? Butterfree. 
I can believe it's not butter. And I'm gonna throw rocks at you too. Because you're super weak to them. Yup. Squash that like a bug. That pun was terrible. You should feel bad. I do feel bad. Only I can make terrible puns. Sorry, Dave, I just can't turn out the flame. Well, that pony toss feeling a little hoarse. Ouch. That hurt. Well, this wiggly ain't so tough. Ouch, oh, you tough. <laughs> as you fall over from a good wind. I know the ground shook too much. I can't take it. Oh, hey, Vaporeon. I think I'm going to... not zap it to death. Bring out the turtle soup. I'm just gonna whack you instead. Actually, I'm, I am a little impressed. The thing did survive. So. I think every Pokemon you've hit with double edge so far survived it with just a tiny bit of health. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have replaced Body Slam, but... Yeah, Body, Body Slam's just too good. Yeah. I figured double edge does more damage and everything. And... But, oh well, what are you gonna do? That thing will get replaced anyway soon enough. I see a blizzard. No, you don't. Aww. And I believe I made a mistake. Yeah, you could have fixed that yourself. <laughs> yep, I can't blame the hacker for that one. Even though he is a stupid jerkus malarcus, as one Bryceoff would say. But he gave you a Fero, Dave, look. He didn't give me the Fero, he just gave me one to kill. Oh, that must upset you, then. Not really. It is what it is. You love your Fearos, though. Come on. I like using one, but I don't mind killing one if I have to. Well, I did freeze a Farfetch to death. Alright, Mike, I have you on. I've talked to other people here before about what Pokémon are eaten by who. Who eats Farfetch'd? Like... In the Pokemon world, who eats Farfetch? No, like if, like if, if Pokemon were perfectly like within a G in in the actual real world, which country would eat Farfetch? Which country? So, so our, so our country, ours, not the Pokemon worlds. Yeah, the actual like Earth. Okay. Well, Farfetch we... is a duck. Yeah, so uh, that might be more of the South. Not actual South America, but North America and the Southern re region. Well, also, um, the Chinese. Oh, yeah, that's duck. true. You know what's funny? I never actually had duck. Neither have I. I hear it's really good, though. But, uh... We want to try out some programs they have for Thanksgiving where they love to stuff, stuff like three different kinds of animals together. Yeah. Sounds good. They like stuff turkey inside of duck, inside of something else, and just let it roast together. I admit, I got really lazy with the editing in this. I'm sorry I didn't just use teleport. Well, because I had, I had to edit, like, well, when I by the time I recorded this, I had already recorded, like, five hours worth of videos. Oh, nice. And I was tired. But, um, I had to edit this yesterday, actually. And I already edited, like, five videos at that point, so... I just kind of slapped this together at the last minute. Probably shouldn't have, but if I wanted to get it out by this weekend, I pretty much had to. Oh, good, he's out of the way, so... I would have been angry if he wasn't. What are you looking at? Um, I'm looking toward the right. I'm not even looking at you. So why are you giving me crap? Huh? Well, oh, good, like he he sent out muck. Big old pile of goo. Isn't that what you did to the last Pokemon, Dave? 
Yes, that is what I did to the last Pokemon. And I dug it to death. You dig, Muck? Nah, you're gonna supply that one with a response, huh? Nope. It's too painful. I, I dig I literally wheezing, though. Couldn't speak. Hmm? I dig wheezing, especially in Gen 3. And Venomoth is a piece of shit. He even looks ugly. It wants a hug, too. And it's funny, too, because even in Gen 3, like, it doesn't get levitate either. Even though it's clearly flying. Yeah. They do the same thing with, like, uh, Magneton. And, and Beedrill. And Beedrill, too. They did that with a lot of the bug types. They really should have given just given them levitate. Yep. And we're gonna put I Cheated in the front. He did just get Fire Blast in the last video. No, you gotta show that off. Yep. Finally had something to replace crappy ass Ember. Or the nice, sexy, but... sexy fire type move. Well, it would have been better if it was Flamethrower, but unfortunately we were not blessed with such a thing. So I'm still gonna slash this Pidgeotto's throat. You're teasing me, Dave. Come on, I gotta see a Fire Blast. Uh, far fetched. I don't know, we might be in the mood for some roast duck, or we're just gonna slash its throat. We gotta cut it up first, maybe. Oh, Do Duo! That's actually respectable! But we're still gonna slash its throats. Notice I said throats. That is confusing how a Do Duo with no wings can only fly, but a Scyther with wings cannot. Or a Charizard with wings cannot. Until yellow. Yellow did a lot of fly. Slash its throat. Blood all over the floor. Charizard will bathe in the blood of all of these birds that it slashed the throats of. You are now picturing Charizard with a knife. Sounds like you just told a horrifying Christmas story. Merry Christmas, all your flying types are dead. I killed them. Without mercy. Yay. My bird Pokemon should be ready for battle. Oh, they're going to die. A horrible, horrible death. And it's going to be magnificent. Truly, truly magnificent. I'm gonna slash your throat too. I'm still teasing the lack of use of fire blast. I wanna see it. I wanna see roasted bird, goddammit. Oh, another far fetched. You die, sir. You die. Oh, hey. It's another far fetched. Did this guy think it was useful, or did he just want to keep food with him while he was out? In the well, field? he does come with an onion. It is true. You know, maybe, maybe the maybe the bird catcher isn't really even using it. Maybe it's just keep it along for dinner. Maybe. You know, you gotta have that spare, you know, extra dinner in case you're out a little late. Can't really eat a potion. But yeah, we just killed him. So, let's see if there's any other trainers here. We'll probably, probably do one or two more trainers, and that'll probably be it for this video. Because we still got a lot more to go, folks. Believe it or not, we're still not close to done yet. Still got the other half of the fucking area. Yep. Remember, this would have been an hour long if it weren't for me. So thank me. Do it in the crowd. Do it in the comments. Do it now. Yeah, the YouTube commenters, Dave. They're just gonna act like a bunch of tentacruels and be mean to you about it. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm even gonna get comments. <laughs> I'm gonna slash this fearless throat if you don't give me any comments. 
Oh wait, I already did. Fuck! I did that in reverse order. We're playing by reverse rules. <laughs> it's an inverse battle. No! You kill wait. it, that it does stuff for you. Wait a minute. You killed it, and that's how you lose. Ah, damn. That's true. Later that day, Charizard was thrown in jail. Well, then I guess we'll just kill this Mr. Guy and then we'll call it a day. Thank fucking God. Bird Keeper wants to fight. He sends out a Fero. Well, I'm gonna slash your throat out, you stupid man. Yeah. the Ripper. See a wanted poster for Charizard. Watch out for the slasher. <laughs> the slasher. Oh, there you go. Roasted bird. Oh, thank God. Thanksgiving dinner is served. Mm -hmm. And we got a Fero. Uh, we're gonna fight the throw. But well, that's gonna do it for today's episode. See you next week! Later! Get out!